Yeah, so we are here for the NUP convention 2024 in Chicago. Uh, we're very delighted to be here. Uh, we thank God uh, we reached safely, and of course, other leaders are still on the way. We are looking forward to being joined by the president uh, tomorrow, and it will be exciting. Uh, the theme of uh, this year's convention is envisioning a new Uganda. And uh, so, whatever we're going to be doing will be around that topic envisioning a new Uganda, what we want to see in a new Uganda, uh, but most importantly, how do we build synergies to be able to get into a new Uganda. So I encourage all those who are uh, still far and near to come and be part of this convention, which is uh, going to be historical, which is uh, being attended by different leaders, both uh, in the United States uh, from Uganda and even other countries, actually, uh, the leaders are coming, so it's going to be very exciting. Yeah, you're going to keep asking several questions about the people being abducted, especially from your team. Mm -hmm. Are you good ideas also to get some solutions about these issues? Talk about of course, we're going to talk about many things, including uh, the question of human rights violations that uh, continue to happen in Uganda. As you know, right now, we have many people, of our, many of our comrades in detention, under illegal detention, including uh, Achille Ochivumbi, uh, Bobby Young, and many others, of course, Olivia Retires and that other group. So we shall be talking about that as well, the question of human rights violations, the abduction that continue to happen, and all that. But of course, I can't finish this interview without congratulating our president upon his graduation. Today has been a day of joy in uh, Uganda, and you know, for all people who support change and who love our president, so we want to salute him and, and congratulate him once again uh, for graduating. This is a very important step that he has taken as an individual, but also it, it is very beneficial to the cause uh, for freedom and democracy in our country.